Hey guys, Emily here from Worthwhile Health Centre. Today I'll be going through exercises for truck drivers or people whose occupation has them sitting in their cars or trucks for extended periods of time. So prolonged sitting can cause a bit of neck and low back pain. So being able to do some exercises and get the body moving during your breaks helps to decrease that, that pain and also increase that, that movement. So today these exercises we're gonna be broken up into three phases. So our mobility phase, our stretching phase and our strengthening phase. So first up, we've got our mobility. So we wanna be able to get some movement in through our neck, middle back, and lower back. So the first exercise, we're just going to be doing some neck rolls. So we're gonna be doing neck rolls clockwise and anti-clockwise. So 10 clockwise and 10 anti-clockwise. So this just gets some movement in that neck as we're being Keeping it in one position while we are being driving. Beautiful. Next up, we've got some middle back rotations. So this helps also the mid and the low back. So all we'll be doing is twisting with our arms out to the side, side by side, doing 10 of these as well. Making sure that we're doing it nice and slow and controlled to get that good movement there. Awesome. The last mobility exercise is we're going to be doing a standing cat camel exercise. So this one is getting our body to be um, bending forward and back through some ranges of movement. So first up, we're going to be in that forward posture. So hands out to the sides, and out in front of you here. We're going to hunch our back and push our arms forward. Getting a, a nice pull and a stretch in through that mid back and looking down at our toes. The next one we're going to be doing is looking up at the ceiling, bringing our hands back and opening up that chest. Coming back down, stretching out through that mid back and coming up and opening up in through that chest. So performing 10 of those as well. So that was our first phase done of our mobility. Next, we've got our stretching. So as we're sitting in our trucks or our cars for those long periods of time, the muscles at the front of our body tend to get quite short and, and um, you know, tight uh, because we're always, you know, got our hands on the wheel. These ones are quite shortened um, and they can cause a bit of tightness through there. So what we're gonna be going through is some stretches for some of the muscles at the front of our body. So the first one we're gonna be doing is to stretch out the scalene muscle at the front of the neck here. So what we're going to be doing is leaning our head back, tilting it to the side, pressing down on our collarbone on the opposite side, pushing down, and as we push down, we're going to look back up at the, the sky, the ceiling, and we're going to feel that nice stretch coming down the front here. Holding this one for 15 seconds. Good. And then the other side as well. So having our, our head bent back, looking up, slowly tilting it to the opposite side, pushing down on that collarbone and holding for 15 seconds. So these can be performed both sides twice. So the next one we're gonna be doing is a bit of a, a chest stretch in through our pictorial muscles. So getting um, the side of the car um, or even the door and just popping our arm on a 90 degree angle, making sure that our elbow and shoulder are in line with our chest. We're going to be in a bit of a lunge stance and all we're doing is we're leaning forward into that lunge and we're gonna get a nice stretch in through the side here. So holding this one for 15 seconds as well. And then we back up, do the other side, coming through, making sure that we've got our elbow and shoulder in line with our chest and really stretch it forward there. So 15 seconds on both sides, beautiful. The next one we'll be doing is a bit of a stretch through the, the side of our trunk here. So we're just going to be placing our arm on the, the door of the truck, lifting this outside arm up and stretching it across. Beautiful, so that stretches quite nicely all the way down the side of our body. Coming back and doing that one again. Beautiful. So this one you hold for about five seconds, relax, and then do it again. So this one you can do 
four to five times on one side and then switching over and doing it to the other side as well to get that even distribution on both sides. The next one we'll be doing is a stretch into our hip flexor muscles right at the front of the, the hips here. So these ones can get really, really tight as we're sitting in our cars, then they're really short and, and tiny through there. So being able to stretch these will help really release off through, through this area. So we're gonna get in a bit of a, a lunge stance. So having a bent knee at the front and a straight leg at the back. We're gonna make sure our, our hips, our pelvis are going to be tilted behind us, so trying to tuck your tail, your tailbone behind you into your bum, tilting forward and bending that front knee forward that little bit more. And you're going to feel that nice stretch all the way at the front of that hip there. Good. And back, making sure that our hips are nice and tilted, so the tailbone underneath the bum and lunging. So obviously doing them on both sides of the hips. Beautiful. And the next one we've got is our quadricep stretch and the one at the front of the leg here. So you can hold on to um, the door or the wall for support. We're just going to be lifting this knee up, popping, um, bending this leg up and having the, the foot right behind our bum. Making sure that the more we push our foot into our bum, the more stretch we're going to feel all the way down that quad muscle there. Holding this one for 15 seconds and then the other side as well. So when you're holding the back of your foot, you can either hold at your ankle or a little bit further into your foot there. Beautiful. So that's the second phase of the stretching done. Now our third and final phase is our strengthening phase. So as we're sitting in the car, our, but the back of our muscles are going to be on stretch and that can cause a bit of weakness through there. So what we want to do is we want to strengthen up the back side of our, our muscles to make them nice and strong and this in turn opens everything up at the front as well. So it helps decrease that tightness at the front too. So the first one we'll be doing is called a shoulder blade retraction. So we're going to be standing um, in front where the, the door of the, the truck is. Our hands are just going to be in line with our, our shoulders, nice and straight here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying and pushing our shoulder blades towards the, the back of us. So there's no movement in through the arms here. It's all coming through the shoulder blades. So we're pushing out and back in. So if you can try and think like you're squeezing those shoulder blades together, like you're not trying to let anything fall between them and then pushing them back and in. So very small movement in through the shoulder, but that just gets some more strength in through that one there. So being able to do 10 repetitions, have your break, and then doing another 10, just to help increase that strength in through those, those shoulder blades. The next one we've got is our hip um, extension. So this one's going to help with our, our bum or our gluteal muscles. So we can hold on to um, our, our car doors for support. And all we're doing is making sure our hips are nice and even, popping that hand on the hip and extending back. Making sure that when we're doing this, we're squeezing our bum muscles to activate those glute muscles and bringing it back. So it's not coming out all the way. We don't want to introduce too much movement through that low back. We want it to be specific for that glute. So making sure that we squeeze in through our bum muscles and then extend that leg out. So doing 10 repetitions of these, resting and then doing them again. And the last one we'll be doing is hip abductions. So these ones are going to be focused more on the side of our bum muscles. So holding on something for support, having our, shoulders, uh, our hips in line with our shoulders and holding on through the hip, squeezing in through the bum and then lifting it out to the side. So this is the same thing, trying to really engage in through that hip. We don't want to tilt too far over. We want to make sure that we're nice and stable through here, really lifting up through that, that side. You're going to feel that muscle activating on that side, that glute medius in through there. Beautiful. Uh, our last uh, strengthening uh, exercise we're going to be doing is the calf raise. So really simple if you need some support. Otherwise, you're just going to be raising the heels off the ground, so keeping those toes on the ground and back down. So just 
nice, slow and controlled through there. So those calf muscles are going to get a bit of a work as well. So you're going to be doing 10 repetitions and then stopping and then repeating that one. Beautiful. So these uh, mobility, stretch and strengthening exercises are all helping to decrease that, that tightness and those restrictions in through the spine and, and the legs um, and, and get things to, to move a bit better and decrease that pain also. Um, even when you, when you get home, if you're feeling a little bit tight and stiff, you can pop a heat pack on, onto the neck or the low back. But um, yeah, if you have any questions about any of those stretches or exercises, you can let us know at Live Well Health Centre and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks for watching.